kid with. I really didn't think he told him. I was really um, always with, running with the ones. But it was pretty much Donnie telling me, hey, I'm not going this weekend, but you'll be, you're pretty much going to be the one. You'll be starting. Hey, Austin, can you just move up a little bit more and talk into the mic? So you got it from the guy you played? Yeah. Wow, that's weird. Yeah, that's, wow. I mean, I guess they didn't want to get my nerves up, but, like, I was ready. I mean, I did. I took most of the ones, reps off camp, and, I mean, I was already, I was pretty much set. Yeah. I, didn't, I wasn't really nervous to start the game. He said, like, "You got it. I mean, you're going against Ty Leak and Ty every every day in practice. I mean, it's no different." How much different are you now, though? Two weeks into the two starts into this, as a as a player, you know, having having that under your belt. Um, I mean, I'm more confident. I know what's going on. I can see like I can see what's going on with the defense. I know what's going on. I know what's coming. I mean, my understanding of the game's a lot better than what it was like I would say last year. You can adjust to what faster start. Yep. Yep. I mean, if we get out early, it's you get the defense changing plays, they're, they're changing their defense. You start fast. I mean, they're trying to get call a new play, but if you start fast, you're gonna knock them back and score a touch, a lot of touchdowns. Yeah, Coach Davis pretty much said though, you just you can go to play, you know, in some form or fashion. What would you expect this week in terms of your role? Um, wherever they need me, if it's left, right, wherever I need to go in, I go in and go just block the dude in front of me. Um, it took me back to high school days, but back in high school, I wasn't really, we ran the ball a lot. We really didn't do any passes, but it was fun. Changed and got my, made my feet better, I would say. So. How confident do you feel like you could play there if they needed you? If they, if they want me there, I guess I'll play there. I mean, if they need me, they need me. Also, the illness that swept through the offensive line room, a lot of times the coaches and players have said that that was a silver lining for the groom, you know, giving you experience among others. What was that like for you and, and double dipping, playing some tackle, playing some guard in the same practice and stuff like that? Um, it was just basically like a group effort. Like we're, we knew we knew we had guys out and we just had to go attack practice. Um, all five guys, was wherever they were playing, we just got to go. Seems How like much of that accelerate your development, like that time with the ones that you were actually getting? It really it did. Um, I was jumped in there. I didn't really know. It took me like one or two practices, with practices, but like after those, I was like, I was good. I mean, my confidence grew. Um, yeah. It seemed like there was sort of a sudden an impact shock on you when you went in to play that other team and you were sort of squeezed in there. It took you back to that time. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could ask them, hey, what we got here, but I, mean, I was prepared well. I, mean, I was telling Jimmy and Seth, like, hey, we like our blocks or whatever. About the emotional side of it, what just as a guy from Ohio, what, what does it mean to have started the game? Um, it was always my dream to pl come here and play and start. And having that, like, I mean, I just got to keep going, keep building those, day those games and just keep building. Would a much younger Austin believe you if you, if you told him you were the uh, No, not I, I don't think. Even I told like me, I asked my like, younger self, even committing here, I wouldn't believe it that. But now, having a couple starts, I mean, yeah. Austin, has this happened faster than you imagined? Or you just you were going to come here like, play as a, yeah, I guess you're technically a sophomore, mm -hmm. play as a retro freshman? No, I knew that year two, I was going to see some playing time. Now, starting week one, year two, I didn't see that, but like I was ready in spring ball. Like I knew I was going, I was going to play something, play. So, what does it mean to you to like not only get the opportunity to play, but it seems like you've played well enough now that I think the coaching staff trusts you if they have to put you out there, whatever the situation might be, like to, to earn that so early on in your career. What's that mean to you? Um, 
I guess it shows like my preparation, my hard work, and just everything I put into this, and it's finally showing up on the field. Is there a moment this off season, being in the spring or in training camp, where you kind of realize that you could play at, at, at this high of a level uh, with the ones you know, that you needed to? Yeah, um, it definitely was in training camp. I mean, blocking Ty Leak and Ty every day, like he builds, he builds a lot of confidence and doing it well and not like getting mauled or anything. So. Is there a defensive tackle that you think Tyler can tie that gives you the most fits? Uh, Hero and uh, Jason Moore in Taiwan. All those guys, I mean, pretty much anyone on the defensive line gets you fits all the time. So, And K Mack as well. So, yeah. Awesome. We've heard a lot about A couple more questions about the stability of the set the line. How much did he help you as you prepared for your first time starting? He helped me quite a lot. And I'm proud that he's our starting center, not someone else's. But, um, I mean, he's like the captain of the line. He's another voice on the whole line with guys like Josh Fryer and Josh Simmons, Donnie and Tego. I mean, it's another voice and another captain out there. In what ways does having a center with this much experience help when you're in the middle of a game like that? I mean, a lot. He can tell you, like, before the play, what's going on, like, how to block someone or, like, what you need to do. And, it, like, it helps a lot. Tego talked about how calm he is when, when things start, you know, when things start moving really quickly. Yeah. How much does that benefit you when you have a guy who's kind of been there and seen so much? It makes us us more calm, like especially me and Tay. That's our first start, so like we were up here, but with with Seth, like he brought us down. I mean, we were like fine, like our emotions weren't high. We settled in. And that's worked out. Is that like something he tells you? Is that something you just pick up on by how he's acting? How, how do you kind of sense what he's? It's he's trying to by how he's acting, and with. I mean, him, when we're on the sidelines, him, both Josh and Donnie, like he was telling us, like, hey, we're cool, we're like, we got it. But it's pretty much like all, everyone, whole, whole group. Austin, how much does that, as a first time starter, how much did the iPads help you? I mean, a lot. That was my first time ever using iPads. We didn't use the iPads in high school, but I mean, you can, instead of like trying to remember the defense, you can just come on the sideline, bring up what we'll play, and you, it helped out really a lot. Probably the first or second one back after that, I'd probably say uh, settle in. Great. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you.